All right, YouTube, we finally made it. 30 days of 100 curls. Sounds exhausting because it is. That first 10 days is like, okay, I like training arms, you know, arm day every day. Once you get to around that 11, 12, 15, 20 days, bruh, arms. Now look, without making this video super scientific, I'm getting straight down to the point. This is a form of training. It is called nuclei overload training. Or maybe I should go this way. Nuclei overload training. This style of training is where you pretty much over train. Now I know we have a lot of misconception about over training. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I would say it's all based off of the person. Let's face it, some of us need more rest than others point blank period, all right? You have your beginners, your intermediate and your advanced lifters. This style of training will benefit you a lot for all of my beginners. Let me repeat that. For all of my beginners, nuclei overload training is your go-to. Mandatory for you guys. You guys wanna be forcing as much blood into the muscle every single day, getting it in. You're so much of a beginner that you just have unlimited gains right now okay you can go in there you can train monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday training the same exact body part and it's going to grow tremendously mark my word now when we get to the more intermediate and advanced level of training it's going to be a lot harder for us to trick our muscles into growing to overload the muscles so that's why we use different styles of training which we all tap into progressive overload so this style of training is going to help our intermediate and advanced individuals as it helped me. I didn't think it would. It's an experiment and I tried it and it worked. Check out the measurements. I was able to put three quarters of gains on top of my bicep. Front double bicep never looked so good. So let me quickly break down what I did. I didn't just do 100 reps back to back. Now what I was doing was sets of 10 throughout my whole entire workout. And even on a rest day, just periodically doing sets of 10. So like I said, I would not knock out 100 reps all consecutively. That made it easier for me to really focus on squeezing the bicep, to really focus on tension, to really focus on building the bicep and not just trying to move that dumbbell up and down or move that barbell up and down. I was actually real strategic with what I was, what I was doing. I was doing spider curls, I was doing reverse curls. I was doing resistance bands curls, barbell curls, hammer curls, any type of curl, you name it, I was doing it. All right, I was switching up the exercise I was doing, which would help me tap into a different side, different portion of the bicep. Cause we all know the bicep has multiple muscles that we can work on to get better in order for us to grow. Now, I'm not trying to confuse anybody out there. I just want to make sure that you understand I did not just sit there and crank out 100 curls. You can, but I wouldn't. Personally, I'm all about developing the muscle, defining the muscle. And with that being said, you have to target different angles. You have to switch up your variations, your techniques when you're training. So yes, the nuclei overload training did work for me. Yes, overtraining your biceps will help them grow. Yes, you can train arms every single day and get growth. I actually dropped some fat off of the muscle as well. Relaxed, my muscle is larger than it was flexed 30 days ago. But I will say, I hate curls. At this moment, I do not want to do any more curls. I want to take like a week off from biceps. I don't want to train biceps. But what I will do is I will experiment with this type of training, this nuclei overload training with other body parts like calves, triceps, chest. And I'm pretty sure and I'm hoping that I will make a significant amount of gains and you guys will see it. So I hope this video wasn't too long, guys. I really just wanted to break down this overtraining and show you that training your body parts 30 days in a row, really taxing them out, fatiguing the muscle is going to in turn help that muscle grow. With all that being said, I want you guys to crank out 100 curls every single day for 30 days and tell me how it goes. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.